So good afternoon. I'm Beth Christie. It is my honor um, and pleasure to welcome to 94.397.3 The Wolf, Chef Irvine, who is joining us via the phone in spite of weather or lack thereof. But uh, Chef Irvine, thank you so very, very much and good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. And I got to tell you, it's a pleasure and honor. Thanks well, for having me. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so very much. Of course, folks know you from Food Network. There is, um, you have done Dinner Impossible, Restaurant Impossible. There is now Restaurant Express. Um, I remember watching you competing for uh, the title of The Next Iron Chef, Um, watching that whole season. Um, My goodness gracious, you just, anything you do, I have to say, there is a passion about you. Like, I believe you. When you compete, and I believe you, when you go into these restaurants and you work with folks, you know one of the things for me, Beth, is that the people. Yes, you can see me on television, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, the person you see there, uh, Robert Irvine or Chef Irvine or whatever you want to call me, um, I'm the one that cares about people. You know, I spent 150 days a year traveling with our military. I uh, just got back from Japan last year. It was Afghanistan. We'll be back in Afghanistan in. Uh, April, beginning of May time, uh, to really show our support for our troops. We do a lot with Kids Council. We do an awful lot with kids with Make-A-Wish Foundations. Um, so that Robert Irvine that you see that sometimes is very short and uh, abrupt uh, is a caring, loving guy that, that wants to make sure that you learn and you've got the tools you need to be successful in life, whether it be in the kitchen or be in relationships or, or whatever you do. You know what? I agree. And that was one of the things I was going to say to you when I watched the show, even though I don't own a restaurant and I don't think that would be a really good move for me to ever own a restaurant. When I watch the program, there are things that I pick up, ideas, a philosophy of whatever it is that you do, you know, pay attention to the detail, learn the craft, have a passion about it, communicate with people. That's what I pick up from those shows when I watch you. Then I'm doing my job. (laughs) Well, I have to tell folks that it's not only is it just nice just to talk with you, there is a reason why you're calling in. Uh, You are going to be performing and bringing your show to UPAC in Kingston coming up Sunday, February the 15th. Now, this is uh, a multimedia. This is not just, um, for lack of a better term, a cooking demo. So what can folks expect when they come to see this show? Tell you, uh, first of all, it's very unique. Um, the show is a very multi-sensory experience, which means uh, the sound, the smell, the sight, and all those things that, that go with it. But what's unique about the show is I have no clue what we're doing until I walk in and the audience picks what I do. Oh, wow. It show. It is open for, you know, um, interpretation, but I've just finished seven shows in Japan for our military. Uh, with the USO, great people at USO. And I have to tell you what's exciting is we don't know what's happening. All all that you will have is two hours of total fun, side-splitting laughter, and uh, escapism from your own life. And if you buy a T-shirt or a book uh, or or a sticker or whatever it is, that money that goes to the Garrison East Foundation uh, to help uh, severely handicapped warriors uh, or build a home or that fund, uh, so we're doing good, we're having fun, and uh, we're getting a chance to hang out with me, which is, uh, I think, cool. <laughs> yes, I'd agree with that, yeah. And uh, just a lot of fun. I think it's great that the monies, like you said, are going to help out folks in need. Um, you know, I remember over the past holidays watching one of your shows and helping out, um, and at this moment, the, the name of the camp escapes me, but the camp for oh, the kids. Double H Ranch up in yes. uh, up, It was a Paul Newman project. 20 years ago. Um, So, yeah, that's a a, a great organization that do great things for kids um, that uh, live with life-threatening diseases. Um, And if you want to talk about those less fortunate, um, let me tell you, we have a blessed life, and and everybody in our life should do something once a day for somebody less fortunate than themselves and, uh, and, and truly enjoy and embrace that. Yeah, that's a great philosophy. Like I said, you, when I watch you, I feel empowered. I feel like I've learned something. There's some tools to take away. And it's not just cooking. It's also fitness. Um, that is, a, to say, is a major part of your life is an understatement. Um, and you really combine the two of them. 
Yeah, I, I truly believe that, you know, mm-hmm. I have children. Um, I travel 345 days a year. Um, I try to eat a healthy lifestyle in moderation. You know, there's healthiness and there's indulgence. Um, and I love to indulge just like everybody else. But at the end of the day, when, you know, when we, we, we think about our kids and, and what we do with them, life has changed a lot. So, you know, sometimes where mom and dad never used to work or only one parent now, both parents are working. Um, so it's less time with our kids. And what I want adults and, and families to do is get that quality time back. You know, my mother always used to say to me, don't mess with your food. I want you to play with your food. I want you to to have that fun time where you cook in the kitchen with the kids and you make a mess and you get the flour on the nose uh, and somebody has to clean up it eventually. But if you're cleaning up and having fun, the food uh, is knowledge for children, is bonding time for families, and they get into where the food comes from, how it helps their bodies, and fitness. Uh, and I believe food equals family equals fun equals fitness. And, you know, I, I, I want that in the food. It's funny, I'm calling you. I'm sitting here in uh, HSN in Florida um, with my new my new products all about health and wellness and fitness. And um, it's funny, we talk about that empowerment feeling. And, and I want people to watch the show. And if you take something away from, from the show, whatever it is personal to you, whether it be food, whether it be uh, a sentiment that I'm, I'm talking about, whether it be the tears of joy for the family, um, I want somebody to get something from it, no matter what that is, and we're all different. Um, and that's what's going to happen at the show. People are going to come. They're going to have the, the fun. The kids will be there. It's a great kids show. Um, we have a lot of military folks who will show up. Um, and just have a good time getting to know the real Robert Irvine. You see the stern one on camera. Um, but I hopefully, like you said, I hope you see some type of humanistic man that cares. <laughs> I do. But, but you really get up close and personal in the show. So, Well, Chef Irvine, thank you so very much. I know that you're very busy. You have a million things going on. Once again, just to remind everybody, the show uh, is going to be Sunday, February the 15th. It's at 7 o'clock. It's at UPAG. You can head to our website, HudsonValleyCountry.com. We've got all the details and all the links there. Chef Irvine, thank you so much for all that you've done, for all the folks that you have helped, uh, for all the fun that we're looking forward to in the show, and for taking the time this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you there, Beth. And uh, don't forget, tell everybody going to have a lot of fun. Bring some handkerchiefs because you're going to cry with laughter. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.